Hey YouTube. I'm off to work tonight. I typically work second shift in a machine shop as the production supervisor. That's what my job is. Good job. A little bit stressful dealing with uh, people issues every day rather than focusing on what I can build or what I can create on a machine. I was a machinist for 16 or 17 years before I landed a supervisor position for a rather lucrative company in northern Ohio and I'm off to work tonight to get third shift scanned in. See, due to the coronavirus pandemic, uh, we have some social distancing policies put in place and we've had them in place for oh going on two months now the company I work for was very proactive and they really in my opinion took the lead on um, preparing the workplace and establishing the whole social distancing rules that come with all the governor's orders here in Ohio and on Sunday night I go in and scan people's temperatures and ask them a few health and safety questions and take attendance and answer any questions or meet any needs that really the guys may need. Then I come back home. It's a pretty simple hour. So I figured I'd ride in tonight and enjoy the almost summer-like temperatures starting to cool off a little bit here this evening in northern Ohio it's in uh, upper 60s to low 70s it's still fabulous riding weather so I'm gonna take advantage of it and ride in to work on the kingpin and ride back home so off I go into the uh, so-called wild blue yonder so in about every one of my videos I have mentioned and continue to mention about the county that I live in being flat and straight and it really is you can kind of get the feel and see what I'm talking about just by a little glimpse in this video that I'm making here this evening that the only thing you see in the horizon is just the sky and clouds. There's no hills, there's no certainly no mountains in northern Ohio. There's there's nothing to break the monotonous view of the horizon up. Now, slightly off to my left here you'll see a glimpse of the sunset. It, that is easily the most beautiful part of where I live. I live very close to Lake Erie and then in my somewhat limited experience they are certainly the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. And yes I've seen the sunset over the Atlantic, the Pacific and the Gulf of Mexico. I've seen there, I've seen them I'm sorry and none of them compare to the beautiful Ohio sky hashtag Ohio sky I follow that page on Instagram and have quite a few sunsets pictures posted in it and maybe if I'm lucky tonight we'll get to see one here on video with me but rather than complain about the lack of technical riding and hills and turns I'll be thankful tonight for the beautiful sunsets that are painted in the horizon all around me here it is a great thing to behold check out the clouds directly in front of me they literally look like they were water painted something like Bob Ross on PBS used to do when I was a kid just 
paint a happy little cloud right here or a happy little tree over there beautiful and the colors tonight are actually mild a lot of the colors and the sunsets out here on any typical night are very very vivid there's been nights when the sky looks as if it's been on fire it's been so filled with oranges and reds and splashes of yellow and purple it's a sight to behold I'll, I'll try to get a few of those in the future this summer everybody should have the chance to see an Ohio sunset at least once in their lifetime so I'll try to provide that for everybody coming up real soon so daylight is rapidly fading here I don't even know what anyone's gonna be able to see at this point so I want to finish this segment up by saying I hope everybody had a great weekend I had a good weekend got to ride a few times just a great relaxation Saturday and Sunday um, thankful to be able to be on a motorcycle right now as the sun sets and getting darker sometimes even the most mundane ride a commute to work and back can be very exciting just by riding at night night riding has its risks I live in a rural county rural area and there are lots of deer and all kind of animals that like to just cross the road for no apparent reason so you got to have your head on a swivel so to speak you always got to be looking at what's trying to get to the other side of the road so it don't take you out but other than that riding at night it's just an awesome experience everyone needs to get out there after sunset put some miles on and feel the cool damp air and and see the sunset and just changes everything it changes the way the ground and, and the the topography of the area looks it even smells different the air hitting you in the face it just smells crisp and clean and there aren't many bugs out yet now in my experience the warmer it gets in the summertime the more bugs will come out so it does get a little crappy that way but if you have a full face helmet or a windshield or a good fairing that's not even a problem so riding at night if you haven't done it you don't do it often you should probably try it it changes everything so um, with that said I'm gonna shut this down so you can still see a little bit of what I'm looking at and I'm almost at work so hope everybody has a peaceful night uh, I hope you sleep well and start the day out fresh in the morning and have a great week have a great Monday everybody